what's up guys welcome back to the channel I hope everybody's doing well today today I got a new tank to share with you guys um, it's not the Red Sea Reefer 350 or the water box 7225 it's a little 10 gallon that I picked up a while back at Petco I scored this tank right here for like 70 something dollars I think they made a mistake with the pricing um, I tried to buy two one went through and then the other one water box stopped it from delivering to my house but I picked this up for 70 something dollars and it's been in my son's room empty for a while and I told you guys last week that I wanted to pick up a Colorado Sunburst uh, well I found that anemone but the guy had a uh, Colorado Sunburst as well as um, CC Inferno and he had a Chicago Sunburst and a Lemon Drop. He's a high-end collector, but um, I picked up the Colorado Sunburst. It's in the Lagoon 25. But um, once I got home with that anemone, I um, kept thinking about the CC Infernos and I asked him how much he was selling it for. And the price was right, so I picked this one up as well. And I... Um, because you can't you can't uh, mix the anemones it's not suggested that you should mix them because they'll have chemical warfare and eventually one would die I set up this tank really quick and I used some of the cycled media from the water box 7225 I plopped this guy in here and he's been in here since Thursday today's Sunday it's been a couple of days but he's acclimating and this guy is super bright. I'm on my iPhone right now. I'm not even. I'm not using a gel filter or anything like that. I'm using the AI Prime HD right here, which was originally on the Red Sea Reef for 350. You guys know that the lens melted on me um, doing the A AB Plus Spectrum, but um, the new pucks were only seven bucks. AI Prime or Aqua Illumination Ecotech, they would not send me the new pucks. He's like, gave me the run around, said they're not under warranty anymore. But regardless, um, pucks were seven bucks, but I'm still kind of annoyed with the company. I might be getting rid of these um, AI Prime soon. I have three used white ones like this, and I have two blacks um, in the box when I picked them up for sale when the AI Prime um, 16s came out. So, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of them because I'm just not happy with their approach with providing ch um, cheap materials for the p um, pucks and they know it's gonna burn through and they're not um, standing behind their product. But anyways, besides that, check it out guys. This guy's super bright. Um, this is a CC Inferno. I was trying to zoom into the foot right there. You can see the foot is marbled. That's one of the ways you can tell if it's real or not. Um, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera with the lighting like this and all, but yeah. This thing is beautiful. Well, I got this in the 10 gallon and it's just basic. I don't have a skimmer or anything. I just threw media in the first chamber and a heater in the second chamber and it's just a water pump and the anemones. The anemones should be easy to keep, even the high-end ones. Um, so this tank's pretty much basic. Um, not too much going on, not high-tech or anything like that. But I do want to add a auto top-off so I wouldn't have to worry about the salinity and everything like that. So I picked this thing up from Amazon. came next day, and I want to set it up today. If you guys are interested... I, I like 
this um, XP Aqua auto top off. We have it on the Lagoon 25 and it's very um, compact in size. Oh, just fit right here. It's like a size of a dime. This um, the sensor right here versus the Tunzi version I have. It's like a big puck and it wouldn't fit in here. So I think this is the perfect ATO for nano tanks like this. This is a 10 gallon, like I said before. But yeah, let's set it up and not worry about the salinity. All right, so I just got this open. It's pretty straightforward. This is the the brains right here. The sensors attached. The water pump. Hose. And the little clip to melt the hose onto the tank. Now, for container, I bought this on... Um, Amazon as well. I think it's like 18 bucks. I use the same thing for the Lagoon 25. It's been doing well so far. So I'll drill a hole right here, run the run the power line through and the hose through, and then we'll have it right under the tank. Alright, I just sawed off the inside right here so we could fit everything through. But let's get this jug filled up. Here's the water box 7225. I got most of my fish in here and they're loving it. But I'll do a separate video on this tank soon. I'm coming over here because of my RODI line. If you guys remember, I plumbed it to the tank. So it's so convenient now with the solenoid and the, the sensor here. All I gotta do is get the sensor right here put it into the bucket and then press play and then that's it and I just walk away and like whatever half an hour 20 minutes later I get a whole jug of RDI water I'm on I'm on the move I'll, I'll move this jug to the correct tank so I got the sensor in here once the water hits the sensor it'll stop by itself no over flooding or anything like that I hit the play button and we start getting water in see that all right guys while we're waiting for the jug to fill up I wanted to talk about high-end anemones and lineage as I was doing research I found that it's very important to know this information you know just to um, resell later or even determine if you should buy it or not so when I was researching about the anemones this is called a CC Inferno. I didn't even know what CC stood for so until I did research online. CC stands for Coral Collection. So I asked the seller about the lineage of this anemone and he came back and he told me that um, he got it. The mother came from a guy named Nick Rosenthal and he goes by the name of um, Flying High and he got it directly from CC when they first released them and so this anemone came from the original collection from um, Coral, Co Coral Collections went through this guy named Nick Rosenthal and then uh, from Nick Rosenthal my seller got it from him and then he sold it to me so that's the lineage of this anemone. I just wanted to put it on video so I can refer to it later because I know that I'll forget these names and things like that and where it came from, but I'll refer to it later. But check out the the coloration. I'm not using a gel or anything like that. This is like the brightest anemone I've ever seen. Usually it's like pink or peach color. Um, from my eyes, it looks super yellow and then you guys can check out the foot right there it's marbled and now i'm told that these uh, cc infernos they have the marbled foot 
and as well as the Colorado Sunburst has the marbled foot so that's the one thing that you look out for if you're buying a, a CC Inferno or a Colorado Sunburst look for the marbled foot because um, if it's a fake if it's just a morph rose bubble tip they would not have this marbled foot right here but yeah I just wanted to share that little random fact about lineage and everything let's go check on the the water jug all right the water hit the mark right there everything stops I love this thing because uh, I don't gotta worry about don't want to I don't gotta worry about flooding everything and the water it's just right here, right in my living room. I just press play at will and get the water in. So with that, we're gonna get every, get everything plumbed into this um, jug right here. I'm one-handed right now, but um, yeah, we're gonna get the hose through the hole, this power wire through the hole as well, and then we'll hook up everything. All right, see? Cut the hose in, the pumps in there as well. We'll move this to the tank right now. Get it right under the tank and we'll hook up the power and everything else. All right, so I kind of did everything off camera. It's pretty straightforward. The sensor, I put it in right here. Um, the tube with the clip and the controller right here. It just has two um, plugins, one for the power and one to the sensor. And if you ever need to fill or whatever, you press the button right here. But um, right now my tank is pretty full. I think I have the line up to the water box. Maybe it should be lower, but I think it looks good as is. But yeah, so this tank is pretty Sorry, my dog snorting, but the, this tank is pretty um, low tech. It's just an anemone tank. I'm not dosing anything. I'll do a, a bucket water change every now and then, but yeah, it's just basic tank. I'm using a uh, pool filter sand, one rock, a uh, standard heater right here, but of course I coupled it with the, with the ink bird right here because when I was setting this knob it looks like I'm at um 79 or no yeah it looks like I'm at 79 but the tank was heating up to 85 so I was like I can't trust that you know so of course I went with the ink bird all of my tanks have the ink bird this uh, gives me control uh, more precisely with the temperature but it also gives me an option to hook up one of the plugs um, the cooling plug with a fan if this tank ever gets too hot hopefully it does not so we'll keep it low tech um, just what is it three things plugged in the heater the return pump no four the heater the return pump the light and the auto top off and that's all you need to run an anemone tank I'm gonna keep this guy here Maybe we'll move it to the water box 7225. I didn't want to put it into the the six foot tank because I filled that tank with tap water and I added salt to the tap water and I'm running like tap water um, initially for that tank and it's doing okay but it's going through an entire ugly phase and this anemone is pretty expensive so I didn't want to risk it or anything like that so we're gonna have it in this um, water box 10 cube for a while and we'll see what happens hopefully it'll all split and everything but yeah we'll see I'll keep you guys updated but yeah stay tuned for more videos and uh, hope you guys have a great day bye